Today we're making an Iron Man effect, a repulsor beam, like this one here. Say hi to everyone, Iron Man. Yep, you're in for a quality video. Okay, to start off, we need a piece of parchment paper. Now, parchment paper is not the same thing as wax paper. Parchment paper is the stuff you bake cookies on in the oven. Wax paper is not going to work. Then you're going to need a hot glue gun. Hopefully this one's warmed up enough. We shall find out. You just want to hold this parchment paper around the end of a straw. And you can kind of see I have mine, so it's just barely overlapping. If you overlap it too much, it's going to be too loose later on. That doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but you'll figure it out once we get moving. And now I'm just going to make a ring. All right, we have to wait for the glue gun. Let's try that again. Okay, so I'm just going to make a ring of hot glue along the end of this straw here on top of the parchment paper. And then once it touches where I started, I'm going to stop. And that's not in focus. There we go. And then, as tempting as it is, don't touch it. Just let it cool for a little bit. It looks like a bracelet. We could make bracelets. So, how was your day? I went ahead and made a couple more. As you can see, my second one isn't very good. I put the glue on a little too thick, but that's okay. And now you could just kind of use your fingernail to gently work off the ring off the parchment paper, like so. And these other two, I'm going to let them cool down a little bit longer. But the point of the ring is to make sure that the straw still fits in it. And it's kind of a tight fit, but that's what you want. Why is my camera not focusing? Go away, Iron Man. Now, in the past, I've worked with hot glue on both parchment paper and on glass, but a couple of you recommended I try silicone. So this is a silicone mat I picked up from Amazon, and I'll be trying it for the first time today. Hmm, probably should have tested this first. Oh well. <laughs> so I'm going to put the ring directly on my mat. What I'm going to do is then make a circle around the ring with hot glue, and then my plan is to kind of fold over this mat and squish it so that the hot glue is fairly flat. We'll see how that works. And you want to make sure that you're careful not to get any glue inside the ring. Because then, guess what? Your straw's not going to fit anymore. Okay, I think that's far enough. And then I'm just going to squish that down and try to get it level. And I'll make sure I put links to all the supplies I use in this project in the video's description so that way you can get exactly the same stuff as I'm using if you want. Okay, we better let that cool before I try to peel this up. I went ahead and did a second one too, just in case this first one didn't turn out right. Let's see how it worked. Oh, that's peeling up really nice. Uh -huh. Okay, that worked really well. I think I like the silicone mat. Okay, there's a couple spots here where, I don't know if you can see on this camera, where the hot glue didn't get filled in. But I think I could still work with this. And on this one, the glue got in the ring a little bit. You can kind of see there. So I'm just going to take some scissors and try to chop out that part. And what I'm going to do next is just use a fine-tipped Sharpie marker and draw the design for the repulsor blasty part, I guess you can call it, on right on here. Another reason why I kind of squish that glue down is to make it thinner and easier to cut with my scissors. So yeah, I would definitely recommend trying to make your glue thinner. Make it much easier when it comes time to cut it out. And here's the design after it's been cut out. And now we get to move on to the fun part, painting. For paint, I'm going to be using some clear red paint. And I'm going to start off by painting the red along the edges of the effect. And you can see where it's lighter red. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way over and then my plan is I'm going to touch up the edge again with a second layer and hopefully that will turn darker red. The red paint was going on thicker than I expected so I'm going to go ahead and water some down with uh, some paint extender and brush that on along the inside of the darker red lines. So here's the effect after the watered down red transparent paint's been applied to. I'm also going to apply red along the edges here. So I'm going to work on the beam section by applying some painter's tape to the straw. Now I tried this last night with masking tape and it really didn't work. 
I was hoping to get some straight lines and as you can see, nope. So maybe this blue tape would work. Unfortunately, all I could find in the house is really, really, really wide tape. Oh well. Next I'm just going to paint the areas in between the tape on the straw. And hopefully the lines will be cleaner. We'll see though. And I'm also going to have to put more than one coat of paint on this, I noticed from the blue one. I went ahead and applied three layers of paint on this straw. And we're going to peel off the tape now and we'll see how this turned out. Maybe. Eh, yeah, it's still not straight. Oh well, it was worth a try. Since the edges on this beam came out kind of uneven, and, well, very uneven, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with that look. And I'm going to kind of chip off some more of this paint here in the middle. Just using my finger now. And then once I have the straw how I want it, I'm going to seal the paint to prevent more from chipping off with some matte varnish. Now to attach the blasty part to Iron Man's hand, we're going to need our hot glue gun again. And I'm just going to kind of set this how I want it on there. I think maybe like that. And just see where one of his fingers are to kind of line it up. So I'm going to put hot glue around this finger right here. Starting on the back side of his hand, I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue and kind of make a ring around his finger until it reaches the other side. Yep. Okay. And then while the glue is still hot, I'm going to put a little bit more on this finger on the inside of his hand and quickly attach the blast part how I want it to sit. And we're going to allow that some time to sit before I try to peel it off there because it needs to be completely cool before I try to remove it. All right, now I'm going to try to remove that from his hand by just gently pushing up on the hot glue around his finger with my nail. Get it to pry up without breaking the ring. There we go. And then that's what the ring looks like from the inside. And it just slips right back over that same finger. And slide the straw into the hole. And you're done. And then you can always combine this effect with some of my previous projects. For example, the red blasty end part from the Cyclops Optic Blast effect, Invisible Woman's Force Bubble, or Taskmaster's Energy Shield. All those projects are available in my playlist of crafting for action figures and other toys, so make sure you check them out. I'll be making more projects in the future, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated. And thanks for watching.